Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I did this fun ice cream inspired nail design with real encapsulated sprinkles. So I will be trying out some new monomer. I got this from Sally's and this is the ASP brand. I usually use exclusive nail couture cotton candy scented monomer, but I had some customer service issues. So I'm not sure if I want to purchase from them anymore. But anyway, I just go ahead and pour that up. I'll be using Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. This color acrylic from Gearbest and Born Pretty Store. Tammy Taylor's Whitest White Acrylic Nail Powder. And of course, the sprinkles. I got these from my local grocery store and this time I wanted to try out smaller sprinkles. So these were the smallest sprinkles I could find. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour these up in a cap. So I'm using Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator and I'm just going to apply this to all of my nails. Next I'm going in with No Lift Nails Primer. And FYI, I just wanna say that I am not a professional nail tech. I do strictly my own nails and this is just for fun and a hobby. And this is what I do to keep my nails on. So yeah, don't take this as the gospel. This is just what I do. So feel free to do whatever you want to do to your nails. <laughs> I just feel like I have to say that because I'm starting to get a lot of flight. But anyway, I start off with a thin layer of clear acrylic and I apply that to the tip of my nail. I like to do this because it gives me a guide of how long I want my nail to be. And also this is the full encapsulated sprinkle nail. So the sprinkles have to be sandwiched in between the clear acrylic, you know, for it to stay on the nail. So that is what the purpose of this thin layer of acrylic is for. All right, so then I apply a water bead of clear and then I'm taking um, this wax pen and I was applying the um, sprinkles, but it was only picking up one at a time and we don't have time for that. <laughs> so I just dip my wet brush into the cap of sprinkles and I was able to grab a good amount of them. And then I also grabbed small beads of clear and placed them on the nail. Um, just so I can maneuver the sprinkles better. Um, also, I just wanna make sure to not touch the sprinkles too much because these sprinkles did bleed. Um, the last time that I did sprinkle nails, I used a different brand of sprinkles and those sprinkles did not bleed one bit. <laughs> but these sprinkles did bleed, um, especially like the more potent colors like the dark purples and the blues and the reds, um, those bleed. Not too much, but enough to notice. So I just try not to, you know, touch them too, too much. All right, so once I have all of the sprinkles in place, I just go ahead and encapsulate them with clear acrylic. Um, I work with a wetter bead of clear because I want the clear acrylic to seep into all the spaces around the sprinkles and just to encapsulate everything and make it all nice and sturdy. Um, there are some things that I would change next time I do this nail. I would definitely not put as many sprinkles on the sides um, because that just made the nail wider than what I wanted it to be. But like I said, you know, I just do this for fun. I'm not a professional and you know, you live and you learn. All 
All right, so moving on to the ice cream nail, I am once again doing a thin layer of clear acrylic. And I'm doing this because I'm working with colored acrylic that um, is not strength powder. So I want to make sure that this nail is also strong. So I just like to work with a foundation of clear. And I also apply clear to my nail bed area um, because like I said, I am working with colored acrylic and it will stain. So you just wanna keep that in mind. All right, so taking this brown acrylic, I'm just using this um, more so as a paint because like I said, it is not a strength powder. So you do not want to build the nail up with this. So this is strictly for the color. So another thing that I would change next time I do a set like this is after applying this brown acrylic, I will go over it with clear to build up the shape of the nail first and then I will go in to form my ice cream nail. Um, but you know, you live and you learn. So anyway, after doing the uh, cone part of the nail, I'm just going in with this mint green acrylic and I'm forming the um, first layer of the ice cream and I'm creating nice little dripping effects with it so the key to this is to work with the acrylic a little more wetter than usual so you can like make that dripping effect to it but not too wet because it'll just kind of blob all over the place um, but yeah I just kind of work with it and um, while it's still wet, just kind of form the little dripping effect and whatnot. And I don't think I mentioned, but I am using my number eight alpha brush. And as you can see, I'm able to get a nice good point on it to um, further do that dragging effect to create the nice drip. All right, so I just repeat the same thing for the um, pink color that I'm using. All right, and then for the final layer, I'm taking the Tammy Taylor's Whitest White Acrylic and just applying that to the top. Now this white acrylic sets really fast, so I do work with this one a bit wetter as well. Um, and just, you know, kind of being fast with it because it sets really quick. and just making sure to clean up around the cuticle area. All right, and I just touch up any areas that I see that needs more work. So then I take a bit of clear and then I'm um, placing a red sprinkle for the cherry on top. And then I encapsulate that sprinkle with clear acrylic. 
All right, so moving on to my middle fingernail. This is just going to be a full clear nail. And I'm just um, forming this nail with clear acrylic. <laughs> so I did notice that this nail did not come out as clear as I would like it to be. And it is because I saw that my brush still had a little bit of color in it from working with the colored acrylic. So even though I had a separate dish of monomer to use for just a clear, um, I didn't you know, make sure that my brush was clean enough. So next time I would definitely have a second brush on standby just to make sure that I get the clear, the clearest clear that I know I can get. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's no big deal. So, but you know, just in case you guys were wondering why the clear wasn't as clear. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and form this nail. All right, so for my index fingernail, I'm once again applying that base of clear. And this nail is going to be a sprinkle French tip. So I'm just applying the sprinkles around my smile line. And once again, just applying wet beads of clear and um, sticking the sprinkles onto it. So as you can see, I tried to keep the sprinkles more on the top of the nail and away from the sides. So I was able to get a better shaped nail, a much slimmer nail than my pinky fingernail. All right, so once I have placed all the sprinkles where I want, I'm just gonna go ahead and cap this nail with clear acrylic. And once again, working with a wetter bead of clear, um, you know, just to make sure it seeps into all of those spaces. But I like working with wetter beads of acrylic anyway, cause I just find that it's easier. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional, you know, this is just the way that I do it. And I never have a problem with my nails breaking or not lasting as long. Um, yeah, so that's just the way that I do it. Like, I'm not saying this is how you need to do nails. This is just what I do. All right, so for the ice cream nail, I wanted to do a waffle cone design. So I mixed some black and some nude gel polish together to create this dark brown color. And I'm using my alpha detail brush to go ahead and paint on um, the waffle cone design. So I do um, slanted lines um, this way first, and then I go the opposite direction, um, you know, to create that nice waffle cone. So I went ahead and cured that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate this nail with clear acrylic. 
Um, like I stated before, um, I should have went ahead and built this nail up with clear before um, doing all of my ice cream design. But you know, next time I will do that. But this turned out pretty well. Um, if you don't want your nails to have that 3D effect, um, this is perfect because everything is nice and smooth and you still get to have that ice cream effect. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and cap this and you know, just to FYI to those who don't know, but you can definitely cap gel polish. So yeah. So this is after shaping and filing and buffing my nails and I love the length and the shape of these nails. But I don't like that I did have to file into some of the sprinkles on my pinky fingernail because the nail was just too wide. So I'm going to be camouflaging that later on. So for my dripping nail, I'm using the Love Jazzery Hot Pink Gel Polish and my Alpha Detail Brush and I'm just starting off painting on where I want my drips to be. And also doing small little dollops of drips down the nail. And then I'm taking my brush to fill in all of the gaps. Now it's going to look like crap at first, but <laughs> once you fill in all of the space with gel polish, it starts to come together. And I just try to do a nice even layer of gel polish so there, there isn't any spaces or, you know, uneven areas. So then cleaning off my detail brush, I just clean around the drip areas and then I take my number six flat gel brush from Alpha and clean around my cuticle areas before curing. So this is after two coats of the gel polish and as you can see I have a pink drip nail for my middle fingernail and for my thumbnail I did a yellow dripping nail. So now I'm applying Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and for my pinky fingernail as you can see I had to file into the sprinkles around my cuticle area and the sides. So I'm just going to camouflage that with some iridescent crystals. These iridescent crystals are available on my website. I will leave a link down below. But yeah, if you don't like a nail and if it just didn't turn out the way you want it, slap some crystals on and it fixes everything. <laughs> so as you can see, I did a border of crystals and I went ahead and cured that. And I'm just going to apply the gel polish to the rest of the nails making sure to get all around the ice cream and if I get any around my cuticle or on my skin I clean that up with my gel brush And before curing my sprinkle French tip, I'm just going to apply more iridescent crystals around the smile line. So I went ahead and cured in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And if you're interested in this lamp, I will leave a link down below to it. All right, so after curing, I'm just going to apply some cuticle oil.
And this is the finished look, just a fun ice cream inspired nail with encapsulated sprinkles. I'm so glad that I was able to try out the sprinkles once again. I love how these nails turned out. And yeah, just a super cute, fun design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.